And Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje, the BMF title. I could care less if it's for a title or not. Uh, they fought in 2018. People must have forgot. I mean, Justin Gaethje has changed. I mean, quote unquote, changed his fighting style. He's still entertaining as shit. But after he lost to Dustin Poirier, he changed his fighting style to be a little more controlled. Um, you know, so he lost to so he lost to Eddie Alvarez, which was a wild fight, and then he lost to Dustin Poirier in the fourth round. But what was weird about that fight is it wasn't going Poirier's way going into that fourth round in any facet. The light kicks were a huge issue for Dustin Poirier. So I think Trevor, knowing Trevor Whitman, they're focused on those light kicks. You do got to be careful there because what did finish um, Justin Gaethje in that fourth round was the counter to the light kick. So unless those light kicks are just such a, doing significant damage where Dustin Poirier can't walk, he can't answer the bell or get off his stool, then it's worth it. But you got to be careful investing in so many light kicks because that's all Dustin Poirier trains on. That's how he lost last time. But I do think it should be noted, you know, I, the majority of the fans in Poirier is favored here. Dustin Poirier, the, 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 it was not going his way in that first fight, even though he ended up winning it. So something to, of note there. But since then, apparently he's changed his fighting style. He beat James Vick, which was a crazy kale. Edson Barboza, Cerrone, Tony Ferguson. Uh, lost Khabib, uh, beat Chandler. That's his best win, is Chandler, in a hot second. In a hot second. Because, let's be honest, James Vick, you know, not a world beater, no disrespect. Edson Barboza, older at the time, gets starched. Cerrone, old as shit at the time, he beats him. Tony Ferguson, we see where Tony's at, right? Then he gets to Khabib, he gets manhandled by Khabib, gets to Chandler, like I said, his best win. That was a, a really good fight, fight of the year. And then he gets a, another shot at the championship, and he gets dealt with pretty heavily by Charles Oliveira. Still a fan favorite, but it's whenever he fights the upper echelon guys, he, he loses. Eddie Alvarez in 2017, upper echelon. Dustin Poirier, upper echelon, lost, lost. Khabib, the toughest test, lost. Charles Oliveira, toughest test, lost. You know, so he beats those guys that are right there, but he's not beating the tip of the spare guys. And he says he's, ch he's changed his style since. I think it's his success came from a change of style and matchups. He's fighting a lot of older guys. Mm -hmm. So it could be, I think it's a combination of both. He's just better in the chaos. And then you look at Dustin Poirier since they fought. So he beat Eddie Alvarez, who, you know, Justin lost to. He beat Max Holloway. Um, to become the interim championship. Then they both lost to Khabib. Nothing to get sad about. Beat Dan Hooker. That's a good win. He beat Connor twice. Lost to Charles Oliveira. And then they both beat Michael Chandler. But uh, Dustin Poirier handed, handled Chandler a lot smoother, I think. Um, yeah, I, I can see why people are taking Poirier. I think Poirier is a better overall fighter. Strength of schedule is better. His wins at the highest level are better. Um, I know Justin Gaethje does well in the chaos. I know he's, they say he's a changed fighter. I don't know if I believe that. I think it's, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe he's not as a wild man, but he's still a wild man. He's just maybe a tad more control, but I don't think he can ever shake that. It's in his DNA, which is what makes him great, which makes him the human highlight. But I do think that doesn't make you a world champion. I think Dustin Poirier just does some things better. I do think we'll get a little more grappling in this fight. I think Poirier is going to initiate it. Poirier has a significant advantage on the ground when it comes to jiu-jitsu. Just, just not Justin Gaethje's cup of tea. Just does not gravitate towards jiu-jitsu. Doesn't really work on it. Justin Poirier is a legit black belt on the ground. Justin Poirier does Im implement uh, wrestling more than Justin Gaethje. He, Justin took down Fazeev. Fazeev got right back up. But I do think Dustin's going to incorporate grappling more especially if uh the light kicks are success early on by justin gagey i think could ne negate that with takedowns something from kick in and i would get into the head i would say i could see Poirier winning via submission so i'll take Poirier.